In 2010, William Pollock formed an association of former offenders from New Bilibid Prison who had become Christians and were now scattered throughout the Philippines, an association that continues to this day called Prisoners of Christ of the Philippines Organisation, POCOP. In 2022, I visited this group as their guest speaker and became an honorary member. And at their last annual meeting in Baguio 2023, the members of the Prisoners of Christ organisation, Phils, discussed the regulations of their group for its growth and order. They now have 18 regional leaders in the Philippines. Each leader is to appoint the leader of the province he covers for, and all records are to be kept of the ongoing work. It is from the Prisoners of Christ Organisation of the Philippines that we received a request that came earlier this year to teach the doctrines of grace, that is, Reformed theology. And so William and I worked together to fund, produce, print and distribute 60 copies of Louis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology, which has now been distributed to the POCOP group and pastors and teachers of Christ-centred churches. Louis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology is the textbook adopted by the Theological Institute founded by William Ola Pollock to teach the doctrines of grace. Here is just a few of those receiving copies of their book. Pastor Chris of the Minds View Christ Centred Mission Church receiving his Burkhoff Systematic Theology. And here we have Pastor Warren standing from the left of ACCMC, Pastor John Wayne of SCCMC and other POCOP members receiving their Burkhoff Systematic Theology, including Sister Teresa, a wife of a POP member. And here is Pastor Paul and Pastor Ed receiving their copy of Louis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology. On the 13th of October this year, I received a letter from Lucas Tengatton, a letter of thanks. Dear Sir David, greetings in Jesus' name. I received two Burkhoff Systematic Theology books, one for me and one for the Bible School in Bilibid, from William Pollock, when I went to Baguio last Sunday. Thank you very much. I know that this is an excellent reference book for teachers of JIT, Jerul Theological Institute, inside maximum and medium security prison compounds. At present, JIT have 40 inmate teachers and 247 inmate students enrolled in this semester. The students of the Bible School within New Bilibid Prison are being taught the doctrines of the Reformers and if released they will be teaching the same to their congregations. I also want to affiliate the ministry I'm handling here in the prisons to your ministry. I hope you will agree with my proposal. I will be waiting your reply, sir. May God bless you as you continue to serve God and his people. My desire. It is my desire to continue this work entrusted to us and encourage William Pollock and Lucas Dangatton in their work. It is my desire to invite them both to England to see the Christian work being done in the various churches here. I'm sure this would be appreciated. I'm sure that pastors and churches would be encouraged to hear the good work of God being done in the Philippines. As a postscript, Lucas informed me that he'd been given an unfurnished two-storey building near his house with the suggestion to use it for the glory of God and so he's decided to finish it as a mission house, office, Bible centre or church building. The estimate for the materials needed for labour will cost approximately £2,200 which is 150,000 pesos or a little more. If this multi-purpose building will be finished Pastor Pollock will administer in the dedication ceremony. And if in case, in the near future, will come to visit the Philippines, you will have room to stay and relax. It, Pastor Pollock came here together with several of his members last December 2021 and we had a nice fellowship and bonding. Sir, may God bless you and you continue to serve the Lord and his people. Your co-worker in Christ, Pastor Lucas Dangatton. My reply to Lucas. Thank you so much for the letter of thanks and the news of your desire to continue the good work entrusted to you. Here is a link that outlines the beginnings of our work 
in 2001. It was over 20 years ago that Michael expressed the desire to build a two-storey building, multifunction room within New Bedford Prison to assist in the work you are doing within NBP and other places. It was Michael's intent to give all the money we had hoped to receive from the sale of our book, Trojan Warriors, to fund the project. However, things did not turn out as we had hoped. As you know, the Lord prevented that project from being fulfilled at that time, and Michael died in the prison before our vision of bringing help to many was realised. Nevertheless, faith moves mountains, and it is still my desire to do all I can to assist you and William in the furtherance of the Gospel. At the end of this video, you will be directed to a video playlist reminding you of our original intentions. The video that Michael and I made and produced in New Bidibid Prison in December 2002 called 1. Trojan Warriors The Beginnings 2. Trojan Warriors The Vision and 3. Trojan Warriors Our Doctrinal Foundation I have as yet not been able to share with the church I'm attending the news of the good work you and William are doing in the various jails and among the prisoners of Christ of the Philippines and of the requests of the pop group to teach them the doctrines of grace it is my intention to do so upon invitation. It is my desire, God willing, to share here in the UK the work you are engaged in at Baguio and in the Philippines, as such good news gives glory to God and gives delight to the hearts of believers. As you seek to fulfil your calling as gospel ministers, I will seek to alert others to your work. As far as names for missions go, or anything else, it doesn't matter to me, but rather the content and the doctrines taught, and that they are those as taught in the Bible. I use the name Beerton Particular Baptist simply because it was at this church that I joined in 1976, and whilst I was a member of this church, was called by the Lord and sent by the church to preach the gospel, to preach wherever the Lord opened the door for me to preach. This door was open for me to come to you in the Philippines in 2001. Here is an account of my call. Yours in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, David Clark. Lucas's reply, the 14th of October 2023. Thank you very much, sir. I believe there are also Christ sheep here in this particular community that needs to be gathered through the preaching of the gospel. It could be the reason why I was brought here by the Lord. The students of the Bible school in Bilibid Prison are being taught with the teachings of the reformers and if released they will be teaching the same to their congregations. I downloaded the books of Dr John Gill and others and had it printed and reproduced copies as I have a digital direction machine here in my house I will bring the copies with inside the billy bid and distribute them to the teachers. I hope that this plan for you to come here and have a seminar with the teachers will come to pass. I'll continue to be praying for the funds of this multi-purpose building so that it will be finished in God's time and be put into operation. Thank you again, Sir Lucas Dangatton.